Um, I know you've promised us, or promised me as well, a live demonstration of a session um, on, on me. And I've given you permission to, to answer, ask me whatever you, you feel drawn to ask me, and I'll answer authentically and truthfully in all cases. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're very courageous. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to fear about, you know, but when I'm working with people one on one, I always preserve their privacy. So we will not be going into into much that depth uh, here, but we will ask a few questions about you. So what I do is I'm using muscle testing. As I said, I ask help from above because as Dr. Brad, who was teaching us emotion code, he says, I just work here. I'm just a channel. So healing yeah. is not coming from me. It's coming through me for your benefit. My yeah. body will be, will be acting as a proxy, how it is called. That means that I will be muscle testing for you. I will be, I will be acting as a Danny and asking questions. That's why sometimes I will ask he, does he this or that? Sometimes I will, I will ask I, because it, it's all the same. So we are all connected. I'm getting your permission to connect to your energy. And then when I'm releasing energy, this is interesting. So I saw you previously, you usually go on. When yeah. I do. So I, I use, at the beginning, we were taught, we were taught to, to use magnet to amplify the energy that we are releasing. Later on, it was said that we don't need a magnet. Our fingers are magnetic enough, but I felt drawn to use selenite. This is a beautiful yeah. crystal that is full of light. You don't have to clear it. It is clearing itself. So I usually use that and I'm going at the back of my head because this is where the main energy channel called governing meridian is going. And with my intention, and this is the key, intention is the key. I'm usually saying the mantra that I just feel drawn to and I'm releasing stuff from you. Sometimes I yawn, sometimes my clients yawn, sometimes they don't yawn, it, it, it depends. And after the session, people might feel emotional because some something came up. They might feel tired. They might feel energetic. It's very individual. It depends from a person to person. Yeah. Okay. So shall we start or do we have any questions? Um, I'll just double check. We, I think we'll get all the comments. I'll just double check. Mm -hmm. um, No, we're good. We're good. We've got 14 beautiful viewers online, so thank you for joining us. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Shall we start then? So first, yes. what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask help from above, and please, then you do the same. Okay. So I will do the baseline test. My name is Natasha. Yes. Can I act as a proxy for Danny? Yes. Am I detached from the outcome? Yes. Can I hear the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Are we both shielded? Yes. Are we good to go? Yes. Okay. So is my light score 100%? Yes. Is Dennis? No. More than 50? No. More than 40? Yes. More than 45. Okay. So I like to measure things in percentages approximately. And light score is total amount of light that you have in your being at the moment. And... I need to get this number to 100 and then everything else falls into the place easier. Okay. Yes. So, and then I always ask, do I need to know more? And because universe knows me, I'm not very analytical person. I like things to be simple and quick whenever it's possible. I usually get a no. Sometimes I get a yes. That means that we need to dig deeper and then I go and dig deeper. But for this light score, we don't need to. So this is the first thing that I'm going to correct for you. And as I said, I'm going to take my magic wand. I'm just going to swipe. And with my intention, I will release everything that is lowering your light score, whether it's yours, learned, absorbed, inherited, and ancestral karmic from collective consciousness, subconsciousness, or your own genetics. Please delete it, uncreate it, and transmute it all now. I'm putting back your light essence, 100% back into your body. And I'm putting your light score back to 100% and ask you to stay there as long as it is possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just, 
I could still close them all the way. Yeah. Just an important point while I remember when we've been working privately in a previous session a couple of weeks ago or whatever it was, um, every morning I used to wake up at three, four in the morning with horrendous negative self-defeating, oh. bashing myself thoughts. And we, or you cleared that for me and it hasn't happened since. That was weeks ago. It's never happened since. So yes. that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, we tend to be really horrible to ourselves, don't we? Yeah. Okay, I'm really glad. I'm really glad. Thank you for sharing this. Okay, so now your light score is 100% and we can continue. Okay, so the next question that I like to ask, because when people coming to me with the chronic issues, that means that sometimes unconsciously they have some kind of benefit, let's call it that way, with this health issue. Okay, so yeah. do you have any benefits or secondary gains from your health issue? Yes. More than 10, no, more than five. Okay, just 10% is less. Last time was higher. Do I need to know more? No. And then I like to go with a few questions and then I release all in box. Do you have any recovery interference energy? No, perfect. Okay. Is your heart closed down? No. Guarded? No. Cold? No. Hurt or wounded? Yes. More than 50, no, more than 40, no, more than 30, yes, more than 35, around 35. So it is less than last time, Benny. I've been wronged. I've been wounded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> victimized that, yeah. <laughs> Any imbalances of the brain chemistry? Yes, more than 50, no, more than 40, no, more than 30, no, more than 20, yes, more than 25. Good. So it's better than the last time. So you feel better about yourself in general? Yes, yes. Diana's asking life force or life score. It's different. It's different. Life force, as I see, so I'm I'm talking from my own perspective. Life force would be this this force that is that is making our body work. Light a light score. Sorry, not life score. Light score. Light, you know, sun. So it is the amount of light that you have in your being at the moment. Okay, so there is a difference. Uh, yeah, do you have any no will to live energy? Yes, more than, 50, <laughs> more, than 40, no, more than 30. Yes, more than 35. Okay, so when people are depressed, usually their brain chemistry is off and their will to live is really low. And they have this energy that I call like no will to live. When we release that, they start seeing life differently okay and then the last question in this in this uh, block is how full is your stress bucket meaning how much accumulated stress you have in your body is it more than 10 no more than five no more than one okay it's not too bad five percent is there so we need to get it to zero do i need to know more no can we just release it yes let's release that so I'm racing all the blocks or imbalances, all the underlying causes, everything else causing, creating, or contributing to all of those issues, whether they're yours, learned, absorbed, inherited, ancestral, carving from collective conscious and subconscious, their own genetics. Again, just for those watching, uh, if you have any questions or comments for Natasha moving forward, then please drop them in the the comment section that will be lovely. I hope that I'm not too fast. No, no, I've never seen anyone muscle test as fast as you can, though. That's that's amazing. That yes. practice makes perfect. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, shall we tackle this nausea that you were talking about? Okay. Yes, please. That'd be wonderful. Can I've you tell no me? Idea. Can Sorry. you just tell me on 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 a scale one to ten, in average, where is it? Well, at this moment in time, it's about a three out of ten. Okay. Um, it has been as far as where I've been, like retching, thinking I was going to spew. So it has been about nine or ten. Okay. It's probably on average about five or six. Okay, pretty bad. Okay. So, usual causes of nausea. I looked them up. I don't keep everything in my head, of course. It's fear. Yeah. Okay. So let's put all of that, all kinds of fear in one of that. Uh, uh, bucket. So, do you have lots of fear in you? Yes. More than 50. Yes. More than 60. No. More than 55. Yes. Yeah. 60% is the strength. Do we need to know more about it? 
No. Okay. So the next point would be inability to cope with stress. Yes. More than 50. No. More than 40. No. More than 30. No. More than 20. No. More than 10. Yes. More than 15. Okay. So it's not too bad. 15%. Is there, is, is there a cause of pushing problems down and then needing a relief? I'm getting no for this. Nice. Okay. When I get no, it could mean two things. Like it's really a no or it's not ready to be healed yet. Okay. Is there any traumatic situation that you cannot watch because it makes you sick? Yes. More than 50. Yes. More than 60. No. More than 55. 55. <coughs> and your dad came to my mind. Okay. My dad, my dad is dying, unfortunately. Yes, he's um, going downhill. Yeah, it's very hard on you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is there something that you cannot handle? Yes, more than 50. Yes, more than 60. No, more than 55, 60. Okay. Are there any other emotional? Yes. Mental? Yes. Physical? No. Spiritual cause? No. So I found emotional and mental causes. Let me just see. Is it more than 50? Yes. More than 60? Yes. More than 70? No. More than 65? 70%. Okay. So I'll just tell you, in my experience, everything that happens to us either is coming from emotional uh, realm, mental, so that would be our thoughts and memories and things like that, physical or spiritual. Okay. So those are four layers that we all have. Okay, so in this case, for your nausea, I'm getting there are emotional causes and mental causes. At the moment, nothing physical and nothing spiritual. And the last question I want to ask here is, how much is your solar plexus working? I'm asking about solar plexus because whole digestive system is here. And the color is yellow. And this is the seat of our personal power. And if you feel nauseous, if you feel weak, if you feel undermined, your solar plexus will react. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So what I'm doing here, when I was asking for root causes of nausea, if something is 60%, I want to lower this number. I want to decrease it. Okay. When I ask about organs or glands, or in this case, solar plexus, how much is it working on a scale one to 100? If let's say, if the number is 50, I want to get it as high as we can. So I'm releasing the root causes and then your body is reacting with healing. <coughs> so I, <laughs> I like to say like our <coughs> energy is like a river. You okay. It just nausea. I think. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Should we work on the solar plexus? Yes. <laughs> is it is your solar plexus working more than ten? Yes. More than twenty? No. More than fifteen? Around twenty percent. Do I need to know more about any of those? No. Can we just release it? Yes. Let's get rid of that, Danny. Thank you. So I'm releasing all the blocks or imbalances, all the underlying causes, everything else causing, creating, or contributing to this nausea whether it's yours, learned, absorbed, inherited, ancestral, karmic from collective consciousness, subconsciousness, or your own genetics. Please delete it and create it and transmute it all now permanently from the time when it has all started. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay, sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Would you like a sip of water or something? No, no, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Okay, okay. So have you read that? Yes. Is there anything else we should do about this nausea? No. Okay. Should we continue? Yes. I always ask the person's body, can it take more? Okay. Is there any system that we need to work on for Danny today? Yes. Okay. Lymphatic? Yes. Nervous? Yes. Integumentary? No. Urinary? Yes. Okay, let me just know this. Skeletal? No. Muscular? No. Respiratory? Yes. Reproductive? No. Digestive? Yes. Okay. Endocrine? No. Circulatory? Yes. 
okay so lymphatic system nervous system urinary system respiratory digestive and circulatory systems are systems that wants to be worked on today okay Thank what you. that means we will be again releasing the root causes those blocks in your energy system and when those blocks are removed your energy can flow freely and then the healing happens that's why i'm saying i'm not doing the healing i'm just removing the blocks and your body and innate wisdom your connection with higher power will do the rest yes okay so and then i i test each system on a scale one to 100 how much is it working and then we want to release the stuff and make it work better so lymphatic system is it working more than 50 no more than 40 no more than 30 no more than 20 no more than 10 yes more than 50 15 just 15 percent okay. that's good not <laughs> no we want to get it higher yes nervous system more than 50 no more than 40 no more than 30 yes more than 35 40 percent good that's much better than the last time urinary system more than 50 yes more than 60 no more than 55 55 for me for example it was it was really interesting to learn then when urinary system is suffering usually we feel pissed off on to someone or to ourselves and so on so respiratory system yes more than 50 no more than 40 no more than 30 no more than 20 25 okay Digestive system, more than 50, no, more than 40, no, more than 30, no, more than 20, no, more than 10, no, more than 5, just 5%. Okay. So that means there are many blocks there, nothing else. I'm not diagnosing any illness. I'm not a doctor. So this is no, a big okay. disclaimer. Okay. Circulatory, yes, more than 50, no, more than 40, yes, more than 45. 45% circulatory is working. Do we need to know more about any of those? No. Can we just release the root causes? Yes. Let's do it. So I'm releasing all the blocks or imbalances, all the underlying causes, everything else causing, creating, or contributing issues with all of those systems, whether it's yours, learned, absorbed, inherited, ancestral, karmic from collective consciousness, subconsciousness, or our own genetics. Please delete it, uncreate it, and transmute it. 